And so we deepen and darken and lighten the sketch based upon all of these forms of communication. I thought, oh my word, what if we all behaved a little bit like sketch artists? We've talked a lot over time about communication and about this idea that when we communicate, we have two parties involved. And there, there might be more than two, but I'm just going to use an example of two people communicating with each other. Um, you might be with a group of friends, all of you communicating with each other, and it's, it's, it's the very same thing. But I want you to think about every conversation as crucial to your success with that person. Every conversation can be romantic. Every conversation can be a little bit more intimate. Every conversation can be a way or a path pathway to a deeper understanding and a deeper connection if you do this correctly now there are people out there that you've met that you can tell when you leave their side you've been listened to they are people that really lean in they make eye contact they nod they 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 repeat back a little bit of what you say they have a skill some people have this as a maybe a natural ability and other people uh, learn to do this because it is a trainable skill to listen and to discuss their feelings about a topic. There's some basic rules that I want to just remind you of. We've got longer videos of this. If you subscribe down below, you can check those out. But I want to give you one tip that might be a visual that will really help you when you communicate. I want you to picture um, a person is a, uh, and this is going to sound like it's off in left field, it's really not. A person witnesses a crime and they have a clear picture of the perpetrator and they go into the police station and there's a sketch artist and the sketch artist will listen to the person that is the witness of the crime and draw the picture of the person and, and I am amazed at the few sketches I've seen of, and witnessed of police sketch artists how clear and how correct those sketches are. And I often wonder, how do they get it so good? And I've asked a sketch artist, and the sketch artist, she told me that how we get the image on the paper is by listening to the tone, the timbre of the voice of the, of the witness. We listen to the, the facial expressions, the body language, and the words that they use. Some words that they use have a deeper, more passionate meaning. Other words are more surfacy. And so we deepen and darken and lighten the sketch based upon all of these forms of communication. I thought, oh my word, what if we all behaved a little bit like sketch artists? So when my wife's talking to me, if I lean in and I listen to the tone and timbre of her voice, I watch her facial expressions, I listen to the words that she uses and the emphasis that she places on those words. Won't I understand her better? Now, when I'm doing all of that, I can't be planning my response. So that takes care of that. See, one of the main rules of, of communication is listen to understand, not listen to respond. So if I'm paying attention to all of the stuff going on with the, with the speaker, I'm going to automatically do it right because I don't have time to plan my defense. I'm simply listening to their argument or I'm listening to their description of what's going on in order to respond to them. So that's, that's what a sketch artist um, analogy reminds me of. The listener needs to really listen to the whole conversation being presented by the other person. Now the speaker, they're speaking clearly about one topic. So with a sketch artist, you wouldn't go in there and talk about the, um, the bank behind them. You wouldn't talk about the stoplight that's going. You wouldn't talk about the, what, what your neighbors looked like yesterday. You would simply describe one perpetrator of a crime. You would describe the features of that one perpetrator. So if the speaker can be disciplined to stay on one topic, and the listener can listen to all of the communication to draw the correct picture in their mind, uh, the speaker will be clear and the listener will be clearly understanding of that topic. And that will definitely create a more passionate, deeper connection. That way, let's say in an argument, the couple isn't looking for who wins and who loses. They're looking for a deeper connection understanding around the argument, which means every argument is romantic. Mm -hmm.